into a king at such me. <laughs> I'm어 it's Italia and welcome to another days in my life as a Korean language student at Korea University. I almost forgot that part right there. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what I'm actually going to title this video when it's actually, you know, posted, but I know that that is the theme, okay? That is the premise of this video. So, yes. <sighs> Guys, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Like, I know I just saw you last week in Gwangju for Sonar, but I feel like I haven't seen you for this type of vlog for a while. So I'm almost done with Yukup or level six, which is the last official level for this program which as I've mentioned many, many times, there's actually a level seven that's called Yonguban, which I am hoping to take next semester, assuming that it's offered. And I say assuming because like I said, it's not an official level. So a lot of students don't take it. Usually there's only like two or three sections of it per semester. Um, so we're gonna cross our fingers that there's gonna be a section so I can take it. Um, but anyway, so if you guys were here around this time last semester, so my fall semester when I was in level five, you'll remember that I had this like big, ginormous presentation that determined whether I was gonna move on from level five to level six. Yeah, so this semester I have a, like the same type of presentation. It's actually tomorrow morning, I'm going second. I'm so excited to be done with this thing. Like we have been working on it since the second week of the semester. Like I'm, I'm tired of thinking about it. Oh my gosh, this presentation is actually a bigger deal than the one I had in level five because this one is 100% of my speaking grade for my final exam. Originally, I wanted to do like, focus on the media's role in not only pushing society's beauty standards back at them, but creating new beauty standards. And so since I'm talking about Korea, I wanted to talk about like K-dramas and how they push like a certain type of beauty towards the public, as well as the idea that being beautiful means you're successful. And if you're not beautiful, you are not successful. Like, I think we've all seen those dramas where they're like, the main character gets plastic surgery and they go from having like the worst life ever to being like, wow, everybody loves me. And suddenly I'm really successful and like da da da. And I mean, like sometimes they do have like some emotional trauma that they work through throughout the drama as well. But usually like the thing that's being pushed is like now I'm beautiful and now I can work through these problems. And while I had the research for this presentation, it got like too complicated. And my teacher was like, no, scale it back. Like just talk about like beauty standards and you can touch on these things, but don't like, don't make that the center of your presentation uh, because it's gonna get too hard. But she's not wrong, but like, I was like, <laughs> That's not what I wanted to focus on. I wanted to focus on the media, but now I'm just talking about beauty standards. <laughs> now, I feel like I have been talking for a bit too long. We have some chibanil to do before we go to the immigration center to pick up my ARC. So two weeks ago, I extended my visa and they had to take my ARC, I guess like to reprint on it or issue me a new one. I don't really know, but they took it and they told me that I could pick it up in two weeks, which is today. So I would really like my ARC. Cause I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get stopped, pulled over and deported or something. I mean, they gave me some soryu to say that I'm not illegal, but like, I feel like I'm illegal. We are going to go to a cafe 
that is like on the Tongit Tun. It's actually the coffee bean, because that's actually, <laughs> people make fun of me for this, but it's my favorite chain cafe because their vanilla lattes are really good and they have soy milk and I just like them. So we're gonna go there and work on my presentation. Found the cafe here. People have been staring at me all the walk down here. <laughs> this is fine. I'm kind of used to it now. But um, here's my lovely coffee bean. If you want a coffee bean with the view of the Chunga Chun, which I know it doesn't look like much right now because it's dead, but in the future, you know, I'll put the link for you. But let's go study. And I wanna thank every break. I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in this city of mine. I'll be most my best moments in life. See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park. I saw my first round. Okay, so we've made it into the cafe. As you can uh, probably guess, I have my iced vanilla latte with soy milk. Yes. I, that's always a win for me when I can get soy milk because most cafes here don't have milk alternatives. Um, and if they do, like if they have more than just soy milk, you're at a bougie cafe, you're probably like one of those really, really aesthetic ones that's like really expensive. But um, anyway, okay, so if you guys remember my presentation from last semester, you will recognize this like PowerPoint template that I'm using. Basically, I decided to like not start from scratch when I didn't have to. So last semester, I talked about lipstick and the origin of lipstick, which was Mesopotamia. You probably didn't know that, but anyway. Um, so, since I'm talking about beauty standards, I was like, the colors work. Mm, I've changed all the pictures, but you know, still. Let me show you my PowerPoint because I'm very proud of it. So, we have the intro slide and then the table of contents. And then we talk about Korean beauty standards, Western beauty standards, comparing contrast. Talk about the reasons for the beauty standards. I hope you could hear me. You probably couldn't, but basically, um, I'm very proud of my PowerPoint. So, yesterday I finished writing like my talking points for about half of the PowerPoint, and so today we need to do the other half, clearly, because I am presenting basically at like 9.30 in the morning tomorrow. Um, I also need to edit some of the slides, because there are a few that have like way too much text on them. Like, look at this slide. There is way too much text on that slide. Um, but that's okay, because we're gonna fix all those types of errors, not errors. We're gonna chung me some of these slides a little bit um, as we finish our talking points and start to practice. Whew, we're gonna, we got a lot to do. Let's get started before I start getting really stressed out. <laughs> Okay, 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 it is time. It's go time, people! Oh my god, I need to calm down. I have three minutes to get to class. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, here we go, guys. Wish me luck, I guess. I say that like you're not seeing this a month later. <laughs> Ah, uh, let me into my class. Uh, 안녕하십니까. 제가 준비한 발표 주제는 어, 현재 한국 여자들뿐만 아니라 예전의 한국 여자들도 어, 매일 경험한 한국의 미래 기준입니다. 제 발표를 시작하기 전에 말씀 어, 뭐 드림 말씀이 있습니다. 그 한국 남자들도 그 미의 기준에 영향을 미쳐도 그 남자에 대한 자료가 부족하기 때문에 어, 오늘은 여자에 관련 미의 기준에 대해 발표하려고 합니다. 다음과 같은 순서로 발표하겠습니다. 먼저 한국인의 미의 기준을 무엇인지에 대해 설명드리고 
그 미의 기준의 원인에 대해 어, 말씀드린 다음에 그 기준의 영향에 대해 말씀드리겠습니다. 마지막으로 그 미의 기준의 최근 변화에 대해 말씀드리겠습니다. 정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말정말
like I was saying before uh, the guard in the box startled me, which he didn't say anything to me, but his presence freaked me out because he was around a corner. But um, like I was saying, so the original structure was built in the late 14th century, but then when Japan invaded Korea in the 16th century, I guess either the whole shrine was destroyed or parts of it were to the point where they felt they had to rebuild it. But the original floor plan is pretty much the same. I read that Korea added a few buildings and they added some like artificial, like, um, not like artificial hills and stuff to help with like some kind of balance. I didn't fully understand, but for the most part, the actual like floor plan of the shrine is the same. If you're interested, you can go look up what buildings were added as I am not sure, but yeah, cultural, historical significance, and it's really beautiful. As you can see, that area in there is closed for what I assume is restoration, but we can look and see what it's supposed to look like here. So it's very big. Honestly, this is the biggest structure in the shrine. And I think during non-COVID times, they actually do some like rituals there as well. So these are the rituals I was referring to. So these are labeled more as performances, but up here it says like Tongmyo ancestral rights music. So let's see, uh, instruments, songs, dancing. It was a combination of all those things. And yeah, it talks about UNESCO and how uh, Chongmyo became recognized by UNESCO, but um, yeah, come during non-COVID times guys, you can see these types of uh, things going on. Guys, so I just passed one of the like guided tour groups and there were these two Ajivas and I guess they were talking about like which king did what or like which king did a certain thing, which that part I didn't catch, but one of them goes, ah, yokshi, sejongi yotta, meaning like, ah, it was sejongi. Like she's referring to a king as sejongi. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. I was just like, oh, it's kind of cute though. Be like, oh, it was our good king. Sejongi. <laughs> Cute. Oh, look at this architecture. Guys, look, it's the moon. one of my favorite neighborhoods, which is Iksondong. I've brought you here on multiple occasions, including for my birthday. So if you didn't see that vlog, you should check it out. On this side, I think it's on this side, because we went to a really pretty cafe and had really good cake. So definitely check it out. But we're supposed to have dinner with a friend in this neighborhood, but um, I'm hoping that we can find a nice, beautiful cafe to sit in uh, and have like some 
cake. <laughs> I've been having way too much cake lately, but cake. I would like some coffee or some cake or a pretty pastry. A nice, like, punigi is actually what I want, to be honest. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes. You and me, yeah, that's all I need. And I'll be all right. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. that I've been wanting to bring you guys to because it's really aesthetic and I'm pretty sure I saw it in like a Carrie Cakes vlog like a year ago or so. So when I found it in person, I was like, oh, I have to go and I have to bring you. But I was just waiting for the right moment. But anyway, let me show you what I got. I picked like, okay, so I didn't get a dessert because I was supposed to have dinner in less than an hour, but I got a cream latte. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, if I drop this, that would be bad. I would, I would start crying, honestly. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, okay, wait. hold on. I'm gonna do that influencer thing where I put my hand behind the item Because the camera likes to focus on your face, which is funny because my camera never likes to focus on my face Except for when I want to show you something other than my face. But anyway like... ah! wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 I got this Okay, I really hope you can see that well. I will show you better clips, but like, I don't know what's in it. I just saw it and I was like, I want that. So, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay. The cream is good. I'm still curious about what it tastes like with the drink though. Like, am I supposed to grab the cup? Because they only gave me a spoon. Okay, 
Okay, so as you saw, I found the friend. That's Cherie. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna ask her to do a chuggy so good. One moment. So this is Cherie. Hi. I'm Sheree. I'm an English teacher in Korea. I have a YouTube channel too, and me and Natalia are friends. And we both love vegetables. Yes, we do. That's why we got so much vegetables. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Like, I, I haven't am had this too. many vegetables in like weeks. I know. Oh my god. Okay, so we got some shabu shabu or like spicy shabu shabu, and we got or extra vegetables, uh -huh. and we got some meat seeds and some like fancy saucy stuff. And an egg. And noodles, yeah, and egg. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny story. So, as you can tell, this is pretty uh, fancy shabu shabu. Man. Yeah, oh, fancy, fancy shabu shabu. The, I don't want to say the waiter, but like the assistant and employee came over to explain to us like how to make the shabu shabu. <laughs> Say, understood maybe half and then the think he caught on that I only understood half and it was You're like wait yeah I was like I, well, wait I need you to repeat that like, well, one more time yeah. yeah one more time because things started to sound a little funny <laughs> so he explained it to us in English but that was anyway. so funny because he said like one thing in English and we were like, wait, you speak English? I know. <laughs> it was the pronunciation. His pronunciation was too good to like only know one word in English. Sheree and I were talking about this, but like people think Korean food has a lot of vegetables. And while there will be vegetables, it's not a lot. Like it's not a lot. It's the amount of vegetables. It's not a lot. It's like it's like toppings, like yeah, sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're very excited for our vegetables. Yes, we're very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with the meat seeds because yes. I have a feeling these will be longer. Originally, Natalia was going to finish this vlog when she got her rubric back for her presentation to be like, hey guys, this is my grade, this is how I did. Um, and after a week of waiting, my sensing name told us that we aren't gonna get any feedback back for our uh, presentations, except for the grade that we'll get uh, at our graduations. Um, so we're gonna finish this video here with Natalia running back and forth, uh, trying to pretend that she's naturally walking past this brick wall. Yeah. Aesthetic, not really. But um Natalia also looks like a, like a marshmallow, but it's fine. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. So tell me bye you guys. Bye.